Hi guys, it's me again. Um, I'm sorry if it's a little bit dark and I'm really sorry for the glare on my glasses. I can't really stop that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a kind of holiday look tutorial. Um, Thanksgiving is literally two days away. So without further ado, I'm just gonna get started. Um, so if you want to stick around and see how I'm accomplishing this look, just uh, keep watching the video and I will see you in a bit. Okay, bye. See, my skin looks so much better than it did before, but it's you can still see it. But you know, I mean, you're your own hardest critic, so there you have it. And then I'm going to start doing the eyes. Oh my god, the most exciting part. This is when things start coming together. So, um, I feel like my eyebrows tend to get lost after I do my eye looks. Um, so what I like to do is before that, maybe I'll, I'll just use powder. No, I'll just use powder. Fuck it. Um, what I use to fill in my brows when I'm using powder is from my 28 Neutral Palette from Coastal Scents. So the one that I use for my eyebrows is this one. It's pretty light, so that way my eyebrows don't look like huge blocks on my face. So I just use my flat brush. It's thin. This is from Revlon. And I'm just going to tap it in the color, both sides, and then I'll just tap off the extra. I start from the inside corner, and you just kind of brush in very gently, and you really just be gentle and try not to use a lot of product. Most of the product should probably go on the outer part of your eyebrow, um, where it tends to get the lightest. Okay, so those are my brows. You can see that they're a little darker. This one actually looks, or this one, sorry, actually looks a lot darker on the video, but it's not in real life, I promise. Okay, but I'm just gonna, I'll just brush through it, and I'm using, actually, another Sony Kashuk tool, I think. Yep, this one is okay. <laughs> this one is a spoolie. Ooh, a spoolie. Looks like a, almost like a mascara applicator. Um, basically what spoolies can be used for are brushing the hairs of your eyebrows into place and also by helping uh, even out the color that you might put in your eyebrows, make it look a little more natural. Um, actually, a recent tip that I just heard um, is that you might want to brush through your eyebrows before you put in any kind of filler or color to them um, just to help the hairs stay in place and that helps for an easier and um, more accurate application. Um, and then just brush through again afterwards to help even out the color. So besides that, okay, since my eyebrows are done, oh my god guys, I'm taking off my glasses. This is bad news. I'm going to move on to doing my eyes, my other eye things, but definitely. Okay, so what I'm using right now is the e.l.f. Eyelid Primer. So I'm just gonna turn this so that you can see a little better. I'm just gonna take this doe foot applicator with the primer on it and just brush it right onto my eye. And then use my finger and blend it up. And I'm gonna put it underneath my eye too. Um, to help any kind of um, shadow that I put underneath stick a little bit better too. Okay, other eye. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with some neutral colors just as kind of a base for the rest of my eyeshadows. So I'm gonna use my neutral palette. And I kind of don't use them, what they're actually like labeled for. This one is the blending brush, but I'll actually use it to apply the, the color to my eye and not use it to blend. 
I use uh, a bigger fluffy brush to blend out. Okay, so I'm gonna do kind of a light color as my base. Um, and let's see, as you can tell, I did not really plan this out. So I'm just kind of shooting. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this color right here. It's kind of a, a shimmery tan color. And I'm just gonna load up my brush. And I'll tap it off a little bit and go for it. I'm just gonna pat it on my eye. All over my lid, into my crease. I'm just very gently applying it. Okay. I don't know if you can really tell the color or not, but that's the color. Okay, so I have my base color set. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take slightly more shimmery color, kind of with this golden color right here. And I'm going to put that kind of in the middle um, and inner corner of my eye. So just like this part here on my lid. Taking that big brush again. Just doing that. I'm just, again, just kind of doing this padding motion and keeping it on this, uh, these inner two-thirds of my eye. And this is just to get, uh, the core colors on my eyes. Um, I'll definitely be doing, um, more things on the bottom as we get more into, uh, details and finishing, uh, actions. But for right now, I'm just gonna pat the color on. Okay, and so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start getting into colors. Colors, 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 hooray! Um, so I am going to use a couple of different brushes. Nothing crazy or anything. Um, but I'll show you what I'm using. Okay, so I'm using this. This is my big fluffy brush. This is what I use for blending or all over application. This is actually considered the Contour Shadow Brush from Revlon, sorry if I'm covering it. And the other brush I'm using is from the Sephora Professional line. I got that in the Holiday Eyes kit. It came in a big red box. It was beautiful. Um, but this is considered the All Over Shadow Brush. Oops, sorry about that. All Over Shadow Brush. Uh, number 22. I am going to actually transfer over to my other palette. I'm going to transfer over to my 88 original palette, yo. Also from Coastal Scents. These two have been really great purchases um, because uh, they definitely have everything that I could ever want to need here. This is the original. It's not the shimmer. I kind of do actually want the shimmer palette. I didn't think I was going to want it, but I do as I've been fooling around with makeup more and more. Um, sorry. So you don't want to be too heavy handed and you kind of want to stay neutral, but don't shy away from color. Color's not bad. Just, um, like I said, be light. Use it lightly. Okay, so I'm going to start with an orange and I am just going to gently pat that on the outer corner of my eye in a rounded shape. Okay. And I didn't show you what color I was using. But I will. I'm just going to take it above my eye socket a little bit. So into the crease and above. And I'm just basically kind of feeling around right now. And I just kind of want to stay on this outer third of my eye. Okay. So that's the look. And I'll show you the color that I'm using. Um, but I just use this kind of like, oops, sorry, like a burnt orange color. And I'm just using it very lightly. So I have the orange on, that kind of tan and gold color. So these are three colors on my eyes. But as you can tell, it's actually pretty soft. It's nothing that's too crazy. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually start putting on my bottom eye makeup. So I'm gonna take kind of a, a more bronze color. 
They actually have, they do have a couple of shimmery colors in this palette. I'm going to take this kind of light bronze color. There's a darker one that isn't too far away. Where is it? This one, I think? Yep, that's the darker bronze color, but I'm going to be using, ah, uh, sorry, this one. And I'm just going to take this little pencil brush from that Travel Eyes kit. It's called a smudge brush. And I'm just going to load up the tip tap it off a little bit, but load it up pretty generously. And then I'm just gonna start dragging it on this very outer third of my lower uh, eyelid. Okay. Sorry. Hello, mirror. I just want you guys to be able to see it while I'm applying it. And I'm gonna layer a darker color on top of it because um, it's really pretty, but it's almost like a base for a darker uh, color that I want to put on just because it doesn't really hold that much uh, weight visually. Um, darker colors tend to define the eye more. So this is just kind of a base for that. And I'm just going to do that on the other eye. And so then I'm going to take my... Oh, you want to see? I don't know how, how well you can tell right now, but I just wanted to show you. Okay. And then I'm going to take that uh, darker bronze color and apply it onto my eye. So that's this color. And I'm just going to apply that to that outer corner of my eye as well. Um, I really, what can really help define your eye shape is how you apply the colors and shades of colors on your eyes. If you want your eyes to look a little bit bigger, you want to concentrate putting darker colors on the outside and letting the inner corners stay like a little freer of any kind of uh, really uh, concentrated color because it'll make your eyes look a little bit longer and it'll make them look bigger, especially with the kind of shape that you do. If you really want an elongated eye, you're going to want to do kind of a, a wing when you do your uh, eyeshadow, so almost like a cat eye. Uh, if you want your eyes to look a little bit wide, like wider as in more open, you want to do more of a rounded shape, an almond shape. Okay, I'm going to apply this bronze. I'm going to focus on doing kind of a, a rounder shape. I think that that flatters my eye uh, a lot more, and I think that it looks a little more useful. So I'm actually going to blend that out, and I'm just going to use my finger actually, because I want a, a soft edge. Um, so, um, I want a little bit more contrast, right? Right now, it's just, you just kind of have color, but it still looks flat. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take a brown now, or a darker form of one of the colors you're using. Brown kind of looks nice, it looks more natural, um, on your skin as kind of this defining, uh, color. So I'm just going to take, a, a more matte, neutral brown. I actually don't like the selection I have in my 88 palette, so I'm going to sw uh, switch pretty quickly to my neutral palette. I'm going to take this kind of light, it's lighter than it's showing up on the camera, uh, but this kind of light brown. Uh, it's definitely um, kind of bark colored. And I'm just going to take it on my all over shadow brush from Sephora and I'm going to apply it to my crease. Um, and then I'm going to blend it out with my fluffy brush, but first I'm going to apply it. So, without further ado. Ooh, look, light. I'm just patting it into the crease. Literally, like, if it helps you, don't close your eyes all the way. Actually let the crease, you can see your crease, obviously, when you're looking straight forward. If you close your eyes a little bit, it's not as well defined. So you want to be able to find the crease. So don't be afraid to let your eyes stay open while you apply it, just so that you can find your crease, right? And this is just kind of a very soft look. So I'm just going to let it be that way. And then just using the same brush, I'm taking that down under my eyes and that'll help connect your eye um, so by using similar colors 
and I'm just smudging that under my eye and it gives this beautiful like smoky effect. So I'm going to take my fluffy brush and I'm just going to start blending outward. I'm just going to start blending the colors so that they look a little more unified and you want to be careful about, about over blending. The colors just lose definition if you blend too much so you want to be careful about that. You want to blend it enough so that there aren't harsh edges but not so much that everything really just kind of turns into this gradient effect and you can't really tell where things are. The great thing about makeup is that you can dictate what your face looks like by using makeup in the right way. Um, and I feel like that looks pretty nice, but I will actually take a slightly darker color. I'll just show you what it looks like right now. It looks pretty nice. I haven't, I didn't do the brown on the other eye yet, but I might save time by just doing it on this eye. So I'm actually going to take my fluffy brush and I'm going to take, I kind of want to do a shimmery color. I don't have a lot of dark shimmery colors because I did not get that shimmery palette. Um, but I'm going to try and find something a little darker. I might just have to blend it uh, or mix it with another color. Okay, so I'm taking this deep dark brown here and I might just mix it with the one next to it which is lighter but has some shimmer. Um, and I'm just going to, sorry, just cover my face entirely. I'm just going to blend them together right in the palette. Not in my hand or anything, not in my eye. I'm just going to do it right in the palette. And you do it by feel, you know, um, but I would definitely start off lighter and get darker with each application because it's a lot easier to make things darker than to take away that color or that tone when you put on makeup. Um, so you just want to be careful about that. So I'm just, I took it on my fluffy brush, I mixed the two colors together and I'm just going to very carefully apply that onto my crease in the outer corner of my eye. And I'm just being very um, gentle with the application. I'm barely touching the brush uh, to uh, my eye. Okay, so I think that's sufficiently dark and it might actually be a little too dark. Um, but I will use my finger and blend the bottom. And I'll take a smaller brush um, and uh, the smudge brush probably, and I'll probably make it darker on that corner. And then I'm just going to take my brush and blend so that it's defined, but so that it's not harsh. Okay, so that's what it looks like now. It's smoky, but it's not, it's not overpowering your face. You don't look like that extremely sultry, uh, almost temperatures, <laughs> because it's, it's, it's dark, but it's not so dark that, um, things start looking too graphic or too bold. It's natural, and that has a lot to do with the palette, obviously, um, but it also has to do with, uh, the application of the color. So I'm just going to take that shimmery brown color, not the dark, not the really dark brown, but just the shimmery brown, and I'm just going to put that under my eye on the lower, uh, lower lid. And I'm taking that color a little bit further than that light copper color I was telling you about earlier. Uh, because it'll act as a nice transition between the darkness on this outer part and the very kind of bare uh, part of my inner eye corner. Um, and I'm just going to blend that out. Because um, I'll leave putting darker colors on there for the night look. But for right now, you want it to just be light. Um, so leave the waterline clean. I really like how it's turned out so far. This is, this is the eye that has all of the colors on it that I want it to so far. Even though when I turn my face like this, this eye looks darker with lighting. And now I'm just going to put highlighter uh, in my inner corner and on my brow bone. So I'm going to use the handy dandy highlighter brush that comes in the travel pack. 
this one. It's big and fluffy and nice. And I'm just going to choose um, kind of a, a yellowish, but not too yellow uh, color. I'm actually, I'll mix this white color, oops, sorry, this white color and this more yellow color um, and use that as the highlight. Okay, so I'm just going to apply it to my brow bone first. And just start on the highest part and then in a side to side motion just kind of sweep it gently um, from probably about uh, from about here to about here you don't want to go too much past um, the the very end the tapered point of your eyebrow so i'm just gonna apply that white color and kind of concentrate it on the highest point of my brow bone and just let that and just let it sit there and then I'm going to take this little shader brush it's super duper tiny so cute and I'm just gonna apply it to the inner corner of my eye and I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try and do something a little bit more shimmery so there's kind of this uh, peachier highlight color uh, right here sorry this one um, and it has a little bit of shimmer in it, so I'm going to use that on the inner corner. Sorry if, about the mirror. And you just uh, want to brush it on your lower lash line so that it meets with uh, that kind of darker um, shimmery brown color. Okay, so that's that. That's what it looks like. I think it looks really nice. It looks pretty fall-like. Um, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna finish up the other eye and uh, we're gonna start working with fake eyelashes and eyeliner and uh, mascara. Another thing that you're gonna have to be really careful about is what colors you use with what brushes. I have a limited amount of brushes, so a lot of them tend to be multi-purpose, multi-color brushes. So what you want to do is you want to plan out what brushes are going to be used for what colors and what applications. And you have to make sure that in between, you at least wipe it off on the back of your hand or some other um, kind of surface so that you can get off any extra pigment that might be left over on brushes because you don't want to mess up your look based on the fact that because you used a darker color before on one brush and then used a light color on it that they mix together and do something totally weird to your look so you want to be really careful okay. and you can definitely once you get your eyes pretty much done you have all the colors you want down you want to go back and you just want to double check that everything looks even and that um, one eye is not darker than the other eye, one eye is not lighter than the other eye, but the areas all kind of match up in terms of how even it looks. So feel free to um, go back and forth and just continually check your work to make sure that everything kind of pans out the way that you want it to. And luckily this time, everything kind of did. It just kind of fell into place. And the, those things tend to happen with practice. Okay, so as far as liner goes, since this is the day look, I'm just going to take an angled brush and use powder um, so that it looks a lot softer. Um, pencil, even, even pencil or gel liners can look too harsh. Pencil you can smudge out. Gel liners, not so much. Um, and definitely not liquid. I would not use liquid for this look. Um, so I'm just going to take, let's see. I think I'm going to mix a purple and a brown and I'm just going to take this angled brush from Eco Tools and mix those colors together and work from the outer corner of my upper lid inwards. And uh, by using eyeliner you can actually make your eyelashes look thicker and really smudge it into that, uh, that um, the roots of your uh, eyelashes 
on your lid, not like in the lashes themselves, but on your lid. And I'm gonna take that almost to the inner corner of my eye, but not quite. And it's gonna be pretty close to my lash line. I'm not gonna make it very thick. I really just want kind of an anchor as far as um, my eyeliner goes, just an anchor for my lashes. And like I said, it makes it look thicker, um, so that kind of helps. So this is what it looks like now, okay? And then I'm just going to take um, that purple color and put it on uh, the lower uh, lash line, or uh, the lower line, eyelid line as well. Um, but I'm not going to mix it with the brown, just because I don't feel like it. I want to uh, see that purple a little bit more. Also, an interesting um, technique that you might want to think about using is uh, using wet, uh, a wetted brush, um, and putting pigment on, on the brush after you've wet it. Um, and it makes the line stand out a little bit more. It's a little bit bolder, but it's still soft, um, because you're not using, um, full-on liquid. You're just kind of, uh, adding a little bit of wetness, um, to the brush. And it helps intensify uh, the shadow colors, if that's what you're using. So now I'm just going to wipe off my brush a little bit. Make sure that you wash your brushes after you use them. And you can find out how to do that. Um, Michelle Fawn has a good wash uh, brush washing tutorial on her page. Um, so basically what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to finish up by putting on mascara. I'm going to find my mascara. I'm going to put it on my bottom and top lashes. And this is uh, Maybelline's Full and Soft, which is my absolute favorite mascara. You're, uh, and I can't stop talking about it. I've mentioned it in countless videos. Um, almost all of them. I don't have a lot, but almost all of them I've mentioned this in. And uh, mascara is pretty straightforward. And you kind of want to brush the mascara on in the direction of your lashes. So on the outer part, brush them outward, inner part, brush them more up, and then the inner corner, you wanna brush them more towards your nose, because um, that just makes them look, uh, it makes them look fuller. And just be gentle, and take the brush close to the roots, if not directly on the roots, and just kind of wiggle it gently back and forth, just to deposit some of that uh, mascara. Uh, more thickly to the, to the roots and make your lashes look a lot fuller. Okay, so those are my top lashes. And I'm just going to go back through. And uh, you can do however many layers you want. I'm probably going to do two layers of uh, mascara. Um, but just to make them look fuller. Uh, but you can Keep it lighter if you want. I use black, this is black, but if you want to use brown, please go ahead and do so. But uh, I like black uh, mascara. Okay. And I'm just very gently um, brushing this on my bottom lashes. So I'm just going to dip my wand again and focus on the outer uh, corners of my upper lashes to make them look really thick and beautiful. Oh, I love this song. Um, more often than not, usually on uh, mascara wands, on the very, very tip of it, you'll get a little collection of mascara, um, like a thicker glob of it. And I just like to gently brush that onto my outer lashes as well to make them look thicker. Um, just be careful about clumps. Don't brush through a couple times to make sure that you don't have tons of clumps. Okay, this is the finished look. Unfortunately, for some reason, my eyes do not look uh, even. Um, as far as the makeup is concerned, this one keep or this one keeps looking darker. It's not. I promise you, it actually looks very even. 
because I double checked and I don't want to look like an idiot. Um, but in real life, they actually look quite even. Um, but this look, I mean, you could wear this any time you want to, really. I mean, makeup is so great because you can use it however you want and you really shouldn't give a shit what other people think. Um, so, I mean, this is actually pretty smoky and you could probably take this to nighttime if you really wanted to, but I think that you could be more dramatic if you wanted to. Um, but this is pretty much my simple, basic, straightforward look. Um, I'm just gonna swab on some uh, lip gloss from Smashbox. This is cute. This came from that same holiday kit um, that I was telling you about earlier where my eyeshadow brush came from. And this is uh, a dual uh, uh, lip gloss, sorry. <laughs> and uh, the uh, it's called Sugar Plum and Lux. So this, this kind of wine color is Sugar Plum and this one is Lux. Um, and they're both shimmery. This one kind of has iridescent sparkles in it, which is really pretty. And then this one just kind of has a little bit larger pieces of sparkles, not necessarily iridescent. They're golden, whereas these ones are kind of pinkish and bluish if you turn it. Um, I'm going to use uh, Lux, I think. No, you know what? I'm going to use Sugar Plum because this is my daytime look and I can afford to go with a darker lip. And, uh, I'm a total lip gloss girl. I love how beautiful it makes your lips look. But I like the smoothness and the shine of lip gloss. So, this is it, ladies. It looks very dark. Actually, it almost looks too dark <laughs> in the video. But it actually looks very, very pretty. And I really like it a lot. Um, but you can always, always manipulate this to look the way that you want it to. If you want it to be lighter, don't use such a dark brown. Or don't concentrate your color so much. If you don't like the dark lip, don't do a dark lip. Do a more neutral lip. Do a pinker lip. Do whatever you want. Um, you know, this might be one of those looks where I want might want to do contouring a little bit. So I might want to put some of that matte brown color on my under my cheekbones and along my nose just so that my other features don't get lost um, when you see the rest of the look. Um, but I think all together it looks pretty nice and I'm actually really satisfied with how it looks. Um, so this will probably be my Thanksgiving Day look. Um, and then now I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to do um, kind of a, a darker look which involves fake eyelashes. Don't be intimidated. We can all do it. I promise. Okay, glasses come off again. Luckily, most of the work is already done for you, which is so, which is one of the really great things about convertible looks is that most of the work is done for you. If you have lighter makeup on, you really just need to put a little more darker makeup. For me, I'm just gonna be focusing on these outer corners and really focusing on making this part darker a little more sultry, um, and adding some more powerful highlights to give that sheen and contrast. Okay, so there is a really beautiful um, kind of dark maroon sparkle color in this neutral palette. It's this one, and I think it's so beautiful that you have to be careful because I'll tell you why. It's so dark, and you really don't need much to achieve a dark look. I'm going to use my fluffy brush once I can find it. Nope, that's not it. I'm going to use my fluffy brush, and I'm going to take a little bit of that darker cranberry, uh, almost, almost ox blood, but it's a little too brown for ox blood um, color here, and I'm just going to put that on the outer part of my eye. And I'm, I'm just tapping it gently into the color with my brush. I swear to you, you do not need much. Okay, and I'm just gonna start putting it uh, on the outer corner, outer corner of my eye. And this is a good time if you want to change the shape and make it a little bit uh, more uh, cat eye looking. This is a great opportunity to do so because that cat eye look is a little more vampy. And I mean, you can definitely do it in such a way where um, 
um, it's applied more graphically, so with sharper edges. Okay. okay, so that is the color that I've put on. It's not clean, so the edges aren't as sharp as they could be. And one of the ways that you can help doing, uh, help manipulate that is by using tape. And I'm not using tape, and I won't go into it too much because this video is already like crazy long, um, and I have to edit out a lot. Um, but if you put tape along the bottom of your eye, and even the top if you want to, you can make the shape that you want. You just have to concentrate on being able to get the same shape on both sides. Um, but uh, I'm not going to worry too much because I can always go in with a uh, cotton swab and kind of uh, rub away the colors that I don't want. I'm actually even kind of doing it now with my finger. Okay. And there you go. And now I'm just making sure that the shapes are even. This one is a little bit rounder, so I'm going to go back and make this one rounder. And you just do that by applying the color above your crease, almost uh, just onto the bottom half of the brow bone. And then I'm just going to take that color and concentrate a little bit more on the outer crease. And dragging it over a little bit more onto the middle of the eye. And um, the tricky part about this is finding the medium between darkening it enough where it's dramatic and not having a bunch of fallout. Because the more that you add, um, the less that's going to be able to stay on your eye. So you need to be really careful about fallout. Um, I have some already on my face, but what I can just do is I can take one of my fluffy brushes, my kabuki brush even, and I can just brush it away, and it's not a big deal. Um, some people do their eyes before they do the rest of their face so that it doesn't mess up the rest of their makeup. I don't see why you'd have to do that. And I'm not going to blend out the edges because I like that graphic cat eye shape. Okay, and I'm still, I still don't want to use liquid eyeliner. And I don't have gel liner or a dark enough pencil uh, liner right now. So I'm just going to take a much darker color and deepen uh, the eyes a little bit more. And this would be a perfect time to kind of implement the cat eye uh, eyeliner too. So if you want to do that, do it. I'm mixing that dark brown from before, the matte color, and a darker purple. And this this is the hardest part for me, is getting into the inner corners, because it's hard for me to maneuver, especially with a mirror, but I'm going to try. Because taking it into the inner corners really helps um, elongate your eye and make it look more dramatic. So I'm going to do that. And of course, you don't have to use all the techniques I'm using or do as many of the steps that I'm doing. If you feel like what I have right now is enough for your face, don't do any more. You don't have to. That's fine. It's all about your comfort level and uh, really how far you want to take it and what you're uh, really trying to achieve. So this is really dramatic for me, <laughs> but I think it's fun and fun to show. And then don't be afraid to go back in and lighten up certain places, if you so wish. I'm going to take that uh, shimmery purple color from before and put that on the lower lash line. Okay. Alright. So, that is it for uh, intensifying the eyes. And it really was not a lot. It really wasn't. Um, it just requires using darker colors and even just changing something as simple as changing the shape of the eye in terms of how you apply the makeup. Um, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 
Um, let's see. What brush do I want to use? I think I'll take that smudge brush from before. And I'm going to use more of a um, bronze color for my highlight now. A uh, golden kind of bronze color. Uh, or that second kind of shimmery orange color that I put on my eyes. Mixed with kind of a, a golden, more golden toned one. Here we go. And I don't feel it necessary um, to go ahead and um, put anything on my waterline. Um, my eyes, like I said before, are somehow more sensitive than they were before. Um, or I've realized that they're a lot more sensitive. And so in that case, I'm not going to put anything on my waterline. Um, but if you want to take it that extra step, go ahead. And then I'm just taking kind of that peachy... Uh, highlighter color that I used um, on my inner corner. I'm going to put that on mixed with some of that more gold colored uh, shadow. And I'm just going to do the highlights again. Okay, so uh, there are lots of sales going on since it's almost Black Friday. And recently at my Target, Elf was having a huge sale and they had some big uh, eyeshadow palettes and um, a three-piece eyelash kit, which I thought was nice, and they're cheap, as you can see, only three dollars. Um, and it even comes with directions, and it has its. It comes with eyelash glue too. But I'm gonna use uh, Duo's eyelash adhesive because they work really, really well, um, and it dries clear. So there you go. Why not? I mean, that'll do the job. So here's what they say. Choose the ones that you want. Um, try and position them over your eye without applying them to your eye, just to see if you need to adjust how long they are. Um, so just gently peel them off this plastic backing and position them on your eye and see if you need to cut them or not. Okay, so one of the last things I'm going to do is come in and change my lips. Okay. You can also take a makeup remover pad and do the same thing. Uh, and I don't have one of those handy. I got some paper in my mouth. Okay. And I'm just going to Use my hair. Okay. And I'm going to use this. And I'm going to use the Lux shade since it's a little bit uh, lighter. And. Apply that. Okay. And so, that, my ladies, is the more dramatic, darker Thanksgiving look for if you're going out on a sexy hot date later, or going out for drinks after the dinner, or going out with friends for Thanksgiving, and you don't really do a traditional Thanksgiving, and you go out to a nice venue and have Thanksgiving. Why the hell not? Um, so, that's the look. So, sorry, I just had to check it out. That's it. Okay, so I'm going to go uh, put on my dress, and I'm going to take pictures, but that's pretty much the finished look, and uh, having your makeup done like this is especially nice if you have glasses, which I'm sure that there are a majority of, out, of you out there, blue, 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 who do in fact have glasses, and it's nice to have a little bit of a bolder, more graphic look because your eyes tend to get hidden behind your glasses. And I'm gonna put on my dress, I'm gonna take pictures, and I'm gonna post it on my Tumblr, which I'll also link in the down bar so that you can check out the pictures. Um, 
and that's it for the tutorial so i really hope that you enjoyed it and that it was informative and maybe with your own tweaks in it um i'd love to see it so if you want to do a response video go right ahead that'd be awesome um or just let me know um that you tried out this look and that would be sufficient for me um so i hope you all have a really great holiday season especially a really nice thanksgiving since that's right literally right around the corner um but i definitely hope that you have a nice new year's season um and a good christmas season as well and hopefully i'll have a new year's video for you guys if i can find the time for it um but i'm off to edit this video so good luck and i hope i'll see you around Mm-hmm.